Hello everyone in Guitar Land. In this video we're going to be discussing right and left hand technique, okay? Proper technique. A lot of the time when people go and try to learn themselves or even go to teachers, um, they learn technique that really holds them back uh, in the long run. So I'm going to try to get you started the right way. With your right hand, let's discuss right hand right now. Right here I have alternate picking. A lot of the time, guys will let you, or guys, girls, whatever, teachers will let you just down pick everything in the beginning, um, like this, on the sixth string, down, 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 down. So if I played, you know, an exercise, I'm exaggerating the movement, making it a little choppy, but just so that you can see it here, down, 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 down. That's not very efficient. Think of that like walking around with just uh, your left foot forward. So you're walking left foot, left foot, left foot, or hopping around on one foot. Doesn't make sense, right? Well, neither was neither does picking in one direction. So what I'm going to suggest is right off the bat, get comfortable with something called alternate picking. It is just as it sounds. It means that you're alternating directions. You're going down, up, down, up, down, up always down, up, down, up, down, up, okay? So now when you're picking, you're going to be picking like this, down, up, down, up. Okay? Now, no matter what exercise, what string, you're always going to be going down, up, down, up, not down, 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 or not up, 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 down, up, down, up, okay? So that's for your right hand. Now before we even do that, let's backtrack and make sure you're holding your pick properly. Something very simple, I'll move a little bit closer, sorry there's a little cable noise. Um, okay, what you're going to do is you're going to point to me with if you're right handed, uh, assuming you're holding your pick in your right hand, if you're left handed just do the opposite that I say. So point to me with your picking hand, okay, like you're going to shoot me with a gun, which you may want to do but hopefully not. Uh, curve your finger in so it's like a hook, okay. And a pick is basically shaped like a triangle. So you're going to get the base of the pick from the tip of your first finger to your first knuckle. You're going to rest it on top like this, okay? You're going to, I'll move around like this. So you're going to see you've got the curve. You're going to get the base of the pick, rest it from the tip to the knuckle, and drop your hand and your thumb over. And now you've got the pick sort of pointing in that direction. I've got it against the white pick guard now so you can kind of see. So again, curve it, put it down, bring your thumb across, and that's really generally the right way to hold a pick. Don't be so worried if your finger slips a little bit here and there. Um, some people like to keep their hand in a closed grip, some people open it up. Uh, now guys like Eddie Van Halen pick like this and you know what? Good for them, <laughs> but generally speaking this is the better way to go. Um, it's just more common and, uh, and proven over the long run. But everyone's got their own little idiosyncrasies, okay? So now, that's right hand technique, that's how you hold the pick. A good exercise for that would be to just pick without your left hand, your left hand's doing nothing, go ahead and pick each string. Choose a time, let's say 30 seconds, okay? So if I went to the sixth string, that's this string here, and I alternate pick for a set number of seconds. Try to make it even in time and volume and loudness. Okay, now switch to the fifth. Fourth. Third. Second. First. Alright, now, one other thing that I want to discuss about right hand technique is that I like to use a technique uh, where I use my pinky as an anchor on the pick guard. Okay, now this works for electric and acoustic guitar, so it really, there's no difference there, okay? Um, your pinky is going to serve as the anchor, which keeps your hand from floating away, especially in the beginning. It's hard to control and your hands might be all over the place, so um, I suggest you try it. It helps to stabilize your right hand. And without it, it's like this, and it's a little bit harder to control. But I like to use it. So you eventually 
eventually get it to a point where you can work it up slowly, get quicker and quicker, and make sure that it's nice and even. Okay, but speed is not uh, your goal right off the bat. It's accuracy, it's slow, it's clear picking, okay? Again, pinky or without the pinky, open or closed, doesn't matter. Alternate picking is the important thing. Now, left hand technique. Basic, good left hand technique. Uh, I'm going to have you try something now. So your, your fretting hand, okay, if you're right-handed like I am, it's your left hand. If you're left-handed, it's your right hand. Go ahead and stick your arm out and wiggle your fingers as fast as you can. Now, what I want you to do is curve your wrist as much as possible and wiggle as fast as you can. Kind of difficult, right? Straighten your wrist. So much easier. Less tension. So, you, your goal is to decrease the amount of tension. You don't want to be, you know, like a crane. <laughs> this isn't Kung Fu here. You don't want to be like a crane when you're playing. You want to try to relieve the angle on your wrist, okay? So that's number one. Number two, generally you're not holding the neck like a baseball bat or a hockey stick or a golf club. Your palm isn't really on the neck so much. The guitar is more of a pinching with your thumb and your fingers, okay? So your thumb will rest kind of somewhere between your first and second finger behind the neck, in and around this position, kind of in that hitchhiker position, okay? Or if you know Happy Days, the fawns. All right, so brought back to this angle now, and you there was there will always be a slight angle in your wrist, not extreme, but slight. Now notice my fingers are nice and curved as well. You don't want to collapse your fingers, okay? This is what I see people doing all the time when they're starting to play. They're overshooting the string, okay, so the tip of their finger isn't on it, which it should be, and they're collapsing their knuckles. You want them nice and curved the whole time, okay? You have more control. Think of it like uh, Frankenstein walking around with no knees, you know what I mean? You're kind of walking very stiff. It's not very efficient. You don't want to be doing that with your fingers. You want them nice and curved. Okay, a simple exercise would be to play your first finger on the first fret of the sixth string, second finger for the second fret of the sixth string, okay? third finger for the third fret, fourth finger for the fourth fret, all on the sixth string. Now with your right hand you're going to play down on the one, okay? down, up on the two, down on the three, up on the four. Alright, so I'm going to write that out for you and uh, that'll be a little bit easier for you to follow. Um, don't know where the marker is. Here it is. Okay. So I'm going to write that in for you right now. One, two, three, four, let's go all the way across. Dot, dot, dot. All the way over to the first string. Okay. So you're going to play one, two, three, four. I'll go over here. So I'm a little bit out of the way. One, two, three, four. Again, you're picking down on the one, up on the two, down on the three, up on the four, across all six strings. One, two, three, four. Once you get to this point, you just go backwards. So you're going to play four, three, two, one. Always alternate picking. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Okay, that's a great exercise to get both of your hands working together. Okay, to build on your coordination, to build on your finger strength. You're making sure that your fingers are nice and curved. You're tacking the string with the pad of your finger, not underneath too far, but the tip of your finger, okay? Keeping it curved, you're not palming the neck. You've got your thumb placed well, right around here on the back of the neck between your first and second finger. And let's go through that exercise again. playing it pretty quickly. When you play it, I'd like you to play it nice and slow, okay? Make sure that you're really squeezing the heck out of each note. Um, a good two seconds. Okay, uh, I don't know if
know if you noticed through the camera or not, but I was squeezing so hard that it was bending the note actually a little bit out of tune. That's fine when you get started because what this is is a strength building exercise. Think of it like lifting weights, but for your fingers, okay? They're not going to get big and bulky, they're just going to get strong and limber. Okay, so that's a little bit on right hand technique, alternate picking. Try the pinky as an anchor, you don't have to use it, just a suggestion. Uh, left hand technique, limit the angle of the wrist, make sure your thumb is in that position, that, that sort of fawns position, cool dude, hitchhiker thing, uh, back here in between your first and second finger, you don't want to palm the guitar, you want a little bit of space there, okay, keep your fingers nice and curved as you're playing. So remember, play this exercise a good number is four times, I like to use four as a magic number for most exercises, if you can play through it four times without any mistakes, you're good to go and uh, you can move on to something else, okay? So good luck. If you have any questions about this or any other techniques, go ahead and leave a comment below or email me. You can also find me on my website, www.guitarlessonlive.com. If you'd like, you can sign up for a free lesson, a uh, webcam lesson one-on-one -on -one with me and you, and uh, I can answer any questions you might have there, okay? So uh, keep on rocking. I'll see you in the next video.